Hey folks, that fix it guy here. And today we're gonna to be working on this table a little bit. So this is an awesome picnic table that my brother made out of some subfloor that came out of my living room. I'm gonna pull out some flex seal. I'm gonna go a little Phil Swift on this stuff and we'll go and get it hooked up. So come along, let's get to fixing. I'm gonna take these drop cloths. I'm gonna show you what I'm fixing to do with them, right? I'm just gonna lay them out. I'm gonna poke some holes. I'm gonna slide some legs through them. And that's gonna give me a basis to cover everything that I don't want sprayed at this point. If you're ever looking for disposable drop cloths, don't forget the Dollar Tree, all right? Everything's a buck, man. Like, three disposable drop cloths, $3. Like, that's a steal. I got a bee trapped in there right now. Hopefully he doesn't want to kill me whenever I let him out. I really don't want to get stung. But let's try to gently let this little dude out. Let's see if he'll just go away. Come on, fella. Please go away. Just go away and don't sting me. There we go. He's out. Grab our little tape. We'll go down three inches. Make our mark. This one's gonna have to get pulled back a little bit more. It's gonna work out. It doesn't have to be precise, right? It's a picnic table. But I want it to look good. So I'm just kind of Doing both sides the same. And you can see that we've got a little bit of this exposed right here, right around there. Just easy. Just mask it up. Just do it around both sides. Cover up any holes and you're good to rock and roll, right? We're just gonna be able to spray this now. Gotta do the same thing over on this one. And we're just gonna do this to the whole rest of the thing. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna do special when I get to the big table. The biggest part about this job, honestly, is just not getting this stuff everywhere, all right? So getting it all taped off, making it all set up and look good, that's what this is about right now. Okay, so for this big table and these legs, I got them that way, but I really wanted to do something a little bit more special with them. And I'm just gonna take my knife and I just wanna cut out a section here. First attempt, kinda of failed. Okay, so let's just take this whole thing right here and we're actually just gonna cut this out. So we got that all hooked up. 
now we'll just draw some flames right here so we'll come up off of this come up to here okay not the greatest but you can see i've got some kind of a flame pattern there <laughs> it might be getting too dark to actually do this which is a bummer but let's just see if we can actually get this off of here we're getting there we've got something here that's resembling a flame really need this to dry and get it off my grass before it pours for four days last thing i want is this to be sitting like this for the next four days so this little comfort grip right here this little jobby right it's just got a little clip that clips around the top of your spray can so we'll just take some of this flex seal we'll shake the heck out of it bah! i've been pretty excited about this i just haven't had time to do it in a little while i think this is a pretty cool project if you guys like this kind of stuff please jump on in subscribe i'm just trying to do things to help you out maybe not putting flames on your picnic table is your idea of stuff but i'm gonna tell you putting flex seal on the bottom of the legs of your picnic table to keep it molding and corroding from the ground up is an awesome idea especially in the northwest where it rains all the time and like for four days straight okay so we give this a big old shake pop that top off this top right here make sure that the front of your spray can is sticking out this hole i've made that mistake before right so you just take this it just clips right over that So you just take this and it just opens up and it clips right over that. Just remember, you wanna make sure that's not like that. You wanna make sure that it's right like that. Cause if not, you're gonna mess it all up. Well, this stuff sucks. Okay. Okay, we're back in action. So unfortunately, one can of the Flex Seal actually only worked about halfway. So hopefully we can get through the rest of these legs with this last can, because if not, kind of screwed. We got three more legs left. Oh no. Oh, see, it's crazy. Like this thing actually turned in the can and it just sprayed out a ton. I didn't even do anything to it and it turned. How did it turn around? So if you guys know a better one than this Rust-Oleum one, please like let me know if somebody's used something better than this because that's like the third time that that's done that to me and it drives me crazy. And with the uh, with the Flex Seal, like this can is definitely working better than the last, but the fact that I paid 14 bucks for a can of Flex Seal and it only half worked drives me batty. Yeah, as soon as I'm done, we can see the flames. So now we're going to go ahead and give it some dry time. Hopefully I can pull this off before it gets dark. This stuff doesn't take that long to set up. And so we'll give it a little bit. I'll pull this off and Logan fix it. We'll be able to check out the flame leg. He's been out here hanging out, waiting to check out the flames for a little while because he wasn't out here, whatever I was doing it. Um, so I see you guys in a couple minutes. This stuff is still a little tacky. I don't actually know if it's gonna dry up before it rains. I really hope so. I might just leave it over like this for the night and then come back in the morning before I go to work, get up super early. Hopefully it's dry and I can just take it off and get it hooked up. <laughs> All right, cause that's a bummer, man. It's just still pretty tacky and 
I definitely underestimated how long. I totally pulled a guy move, did not read how long this stuff was gonna take to actually set. 24 hours, man. Like, it wants you to wait 24 hours, and I should have done that. I don't know if you can see him over there. But we got our little resident bunny, Jacko. He's uh he's got pretty close with us, pretty chummy, man. He uh he's more daring. He used to never come in our backyard we were in here, but now he's hooking it up. Okay. So we started to tear it down. Let's just see what we can get peeled off. Some of the some of it's good to roll. I mean it's rubber, so we want to get it off before it's fully dried, right? Well, I'm going to tell you, you see that? You see the way that that's pulling off of there? <laughs> I don't really think that was, that was grand. I mean, it's just big globs of rubber, right? Um, yeah, I don't think it was the best idea I've ever had. I mean, hey, I've never did it before. I thought maybe it would work. This is uh, probably not the application for flex seal, right? Like, look at this. You can see right here that it just starts peeling <laughs> like a latex suit. So, it's all right. I didn't destroy anything. This stuff will come off pretty easy, I bet. And I mean, I guess it still is a little coating for the bottom, right? Like, not a deal. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a bummer. But you know what? It is what it is. I don't know. I guess it's not horrible. <laughs> it's uh, it's already tacky enough to touch. <laughs> I don't know. Check it out. Tell me what you think. It's not come out perfect, but you know what? It's it's working. Maybe I didn't take this off in enough time. And honestly, I think it was too much prep work to be dealing with trying to take this off of here. I think uh, not a great application. Honestly, if I had to do it all over again, I would paintbrush freehand it all. Well, it doesn't look horrible by night. Okay, so as you can tell, it's getting really dark. <laughs> I totally underestimated how long it was gonna take me just to tape that off. It was a lot, man. This was actually a big project that I probably should have been a little bit better prepared for, but also I probably should have used something different. Because I'm gonna tell you, the Flex Seal, it wasn't that great in this instance, right? Um, I guess if I would have, <laughs> pulled it off right away but I went a little so I went so intricate with it that I didn't feel like I could pull it off right away and if I did I was gonna screw it up then too so <laughs> it is what it is man this is what we got it doesn't look so crazy great but you know what it's actually drying up pretty nice um none of this kind of looks even but in the end if the flex seal holds up and it just rubberizes the bottom of these, well, then that's what it's going to be, right? It didn't turn out ideal. It's not perfect. I'm not perfect, right? <laughs> just because I make YouTube videos doesn't mean I don't screw up. And this Rust-Oleum, 
like little trigger thing. I'm happy with the way that it rolls. I like the principle. I don't necessarily know that this is my favorite design, right? So if you guys really, if you know something better than this particular style, let me know because I would really like to use one. It's much better than trying to shake the whole thing and do it with just your finger, right? That gets old real quick especially if you maybe got arthritis in this finger. It's not gonna be great. This, much easier, right? Little wrist action. It is pretty sweet that way, but I just had a couple issues with it. And then, man, the Flex Seal, like one can quitting on me halfway through, that was a big, big disappointment, right? Especially for how much they want for this stuff. Like, it's great for applications. You guys let me know what else you use it for. You've seen me use it in a shower patch video. And you know what? That patch is still holding. I'm still getting back over there. I'm still going to shoot a video with that here real quick. But, you know, I just wanted to do something thinking, oh, man, my brother did something super cool for me. I want to hook it up a little bit and do something kind of cool. Well, I can tell you, I was only able to get the one flame on the one leg. But my wife was actually really happy about that because she didn't want any flames. So <laughs> that's it. We'll see. I'm going to end up flipping these over in a little while. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm going to let them dry as long as they possibly can. I really hope you guys enjoy the video. If you could please click that like button, subscribe, share. You know, I don't always mess up. Hopefully I teach you guys something, you learn from my mistakes, however it rolls. Maybe I'm a little entertaining to you. Maybe you want to laugh at me. <laughs> it's totally fine. I laugh at myself a lot. So thank you very much. And I hope to see you again real soon. Okay, so it's rained on this table for, for a few days now, right? And it's actually held up awesome, man. It, it still, it just works, man. We put some crazy lacquer on the top of this thing. You can see my flames <laughs> didn't quite turn out the way that I wanted. And they really don't look so grand, right? Um, but I can tell you overall, like as far as sticking to it, like the flex seal actually sticks pretty good. So I guess it'd be a good little coating for the feet, right? Just to have a, a rubberized thing on the bottom. I probably should have done it in clear. I don't necessarily know that the black goes with this table. I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, is it is it horrible? If it is horrible, you know what? The nice thing is I think this will peel somewhat right off. Uh, yeah, it would. It would peel off if we wanted it to. So we'll see. But it's nice, you know, because typically around here, and I'm sure in most places, your picnic table is going to rot from the legs up, right? So I just wanted to protect those. And it might look like a fox with socks, but still looks pretty darn good.